has its first rabid bats of the year. It was found in the northeast part of the city near Austin Bluffs and Academy. Now, Caradio News Channel 13's Angelica Lombardi is there right now. And Angelica, this is the first rabid bat confirmed in Colorado Springs this year, but rabies not new to our region. Correct. Last year, there were 10 cases confirmed. Now, this latest case happened over here in this area off of Austin Bluffs and Academy, as you mentioned. Now, the health department isn't saying the exact location, but it seems location doesn't really matter because bats have no boundaries. They're everywhere. Bats are all over El Paso County. And they're often hard to spot. They live in trees, they live in eaves of houses. Even if they're nesting, their reach is wide. Important to remember that bats have wings and fly. They have a very large territory, so it could have been found in any part of town. That means humans and pets are at risk at home or away. We did recently have a pet that was um, hiking with mom over at Bear Creek Park. They actually had a run in with a coyote because right now is coyote season. If someone comes into contact with a rabid bat through a bite or a scratch, they uh, are at risk of developing rabies. The best defense, keep your pets up to date on vaccinations. It's very, very important to keep them vaccinated and to make sure that they have been tested for certain things um, because unfortunately, if we don't do that, um, chances are very high. And steer clear of these flying disease carriers. Bats have very, very small teeth, needle-like teeth. And I mean, if you think about it, if a needle is small enough, like the width of your hair, it poking through your skin, you might not even feel that. Now, not all bats carry rabies, but the tough part is it's not really easy to know if you have come in contact with it. Now, if you do think you have come in contact with an infected animal, you should contact your doctor immediately because once those symptoms appear, it is a fatal virus. Live in Colorado Springs, Angelica Lombardi, KRDO News Channel 13. Thanks, Angelica. Now, if we do have some tips to minimize your rabies risk, try to keep bats from getting into your attic, crawl space, or eaves. Teach children to never handle live or dead wild animals. And if an area is contaminated with bat droppings, you want to call a professional to remove it. Definitely don't want to get bitten because that treatment could be very painful with those shots you're going to have to get. Mm -hmm.